Oops. Where's my phone gone? Hello, hello everyone. Just waiting for this computer to do its thing. Weird. Facebook have changed everything and I'm just all out of sorts of what button to press and where to go. Um, told you I'd be back. Made it back before I've got a slew of commitments this afternoon and tonight. Oh, it's, it's one of those days. I'm having one of those years, I think. Um, just double checking that it is working in the Facebook group. Because I have been known to um, <laughs> post in the wrong place. So welcome, welcome if you're here. Hi Beverly, going? Well, if I'm getting comments, I must be working. Let's just double check and then we'll get um, going. So today I'm just going to play with some of my Distress Oxides and some of my new embellishments. For today's demo. I promise I will be more organised tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. Me and organised. I'm going to get the crown for the last minute queen lately. I have, everything is just done last minute and things change on an hourly basis around here. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so let's move this box out of the way. And let me just grab out what I'm going to do first. I sort of threw everything in the box that I needed and thought that might be a good way to contain it. So I'm just grabbing out, let's grab out this stuff, this stuff, and I'll put the rest of the stuff, and I didn't grab adhesive, but we might not get anything finished yet. We might just be having a play. So this, hi Faye, how you going? So this craft show is all, with Geeks, with the Great International Craft Show, is all about Christmas. I'm just going to move this book and see how bad that shine is. If I put that there, no, why is my camera doing funny things? Bear with me a minute. Ah, stop, camera. Because I went to autofocus it and I forgot to turn the autofocus off. There we go. Hang on. Two seconds. Can I move the camera up a bit? Oh, there we go. Sorry to make you all seasick. We'll move it down one there. There we go. So I decided to move my glass mat over to my filming table as opposed to on my crafting table. Um, because I'm going to use Distress Oxide inks and it's easy to clean this up and it's easy to put on, um, easy to put on, okay, this is going to be a fun session when I can't even think of damn words I want to use. Um, yeah, it's easy to clean up and it's nicer to craft on my glass mat. So this is a big We Are Memory Keepers glass mat I got from Hillbilly Scrapping. They, she does sell them, but unfortunately we don't post them. So if you're in the Swan Hill area or you're in the Bendigo area, we can organise to get you one. But um, if you're elsewhere, it's probably best to source it locally because they are massive. Hi, Tabitha. Hang on, I'm lurking. This assistant is getting her first vax right now. Oh, so you'll turn up the volume when you get home. Tell Miss Assistant from me, Tabitha, good luck and be brave. I've got someone's next week. <laughs> And I've got mine a few weeks after that. Oh, it's fun and games. Okay, so what am I going to do? Let's play with our... Um, what is that, a reindeer? Let's play with our reindeers first. And I just discovered this reindeer's got no legs at the bottom, but we're going to cut him down anyway and use him. Um, if you do receive any orders from me and party shape is obviously missing, just email me because sometimes I just package them and just miss it and I don't do it on purpose, but... If for any reason I do send you a shape and it's not quite right, don't hesitate to contact me and say, hey, this this one's got no legs and I'll happily send you out another one that's got legs. <laughs> um, so what I've done first off is I had my cuttle bug, really old cuttle bug, sitting on my desk. I was die cutting for tomorrow's class for Craft Alive. And I decided to grab out my embossing folders. And who's got embossing folders in their stash they haven't used for a while? I won't tell you what date's on the back of this one because that would be quite embarrassing. Let's just say it might have a 10-year anniversary soon. So the, these shapes are cut from my 400 GSM, from 400 GSM mixed media cardstock. So it actually embossed them really well. I should have checked my embossing folder was clean because obviously I've put chipboard through it. But we're going to ink it anyway, so it doesn't matter. What I've also done is just got some card bases and uh, embossed those. So I'm going to use those as background. So I did a couple in text. This one I thought looks a bit like bauble, so I thought we might use that. Um, so let's get messy and get some stuff started. So we're going to start with our deers or reindeers. We'll call them reindeers. 
what colour am I going to make my reindeers? I want him to be brown and sort of red. So I sort of grab browns and reds, or maybe it could be yellow in him. I don't know. And I sort of grab greens for the background. We'll see what colours we use. Hi Val, how are you going? Whoops. I keep trying to scroll comments and the whole screen gets lost. So let's start with our lightest colour, maybe. We're just making this up as we go along. I don't use my distress oxides as much as I should. So I might just put some yellow sort of in the middle of him. And then build up a bit of the colour on the more like on the edge. We might end up colouring it all in colour. So just gently brushing the oxides over the embossed. Ooh, he's coming up really nice. I haven't embossed any of this mixed media cardstock before. I didn't even think to do that. Oh, I love how that's coming up, and I can rub some colour to make that embossing really come out. So I'll put a base of yellow on it. Just using a, I believe this one's a, I'm trying to think of the name, Tattered Rose? No. Is it called Tattered Rose? No, wrong one. Paper Rose. Um, Australian company that um, Jen sells the Paper Rose blending brushes with all these little bristles. They're really good for using with your inks. So let's add some more colours. So to clean the blending brushes between hand, we usually just get a bit of scrap paper or roll of paper towel, which I don't have, so um, don't look under the table when I wipe it on my pants. They're black anyway, so you won't see it. Okay, usually do it on a roll of paper towel, but going from a light to a darker to a darker colour, I'm not real worried that if a little bit of yellow gets in the red, it's not going to cross-contaminate. That's why I don't go from dark to light. I always go from light to dark. So I just want to add a bit more red to him whoops his antlers are moving around i'm trying not to tear him off and let's not decapitate him too that might not be fun so we've got lots happening over the next four days i'll be doing a live at 11 o'clock every day and then i may be able to squeeze in another live it just depends life is just crazy at the moment anytime i plan something plans just go out the window I swear someone looks in my diary and go, oh, she's got an appointment on the 20th of September. Let's just ring her and tell her that she's got a second one exactly at the same time, 200 kilometres apart. Yeah, I, that's happening lately. But we will get there. I think I've broken his leg. That's all right. I'll stick it back down and no one will know any different. So you just got to be a bit gentle, obviously, with these shapes. But if you do break it, you can always stick it back down. Let me get rid of some of that. I should have grabbed some paper towel to clean up the ink. Hmm, I'm going to reach for some tissues. That will do. Oops. Tissues will clean up the ink just as well as paper towel. I thought I was organised. See, the ink just rubs right off the glass mat. It's fantastic to clean up, whether it's wet or dry. Oh my god, that's what I do. My trackies have paint all over them. Um, yeah. I desperately need to go clothes shopping because quite a few of my clothes have either got paint or ink on them or um, are getting holes in them because they're that old. And I just need to get out and go shopping at one stage. Two actual shops. I don't like buying clothes online. So hopefully in a couple of weeks life will settle down. And even though we are in Bendigo and we're out of regional lockdown, we're staying home at the moment for my daughter for a few weeks so I can't wait to get out and get shopping and buy some new clothes which would be nice just going to add a bit of brown and then what I'm going to do is take the in take the ink pad and run it across the top to hopefully just catch the bumps so this one's got like a giraffey sort of pattern I was trying to look through my embossing folders for like a small dot or something but this one's the only one I found so I'm just going to gently get ink everywhere obviously but just gently touch the top and then just the emb raised embossed bits will come very inky. Okay, let's put him aside. Let's just wipe up that ink. Sorry for wiggling the table. I can't wait to get my new table out of the box too. I've got a fantastic new crafting filming table. That go, that's electronic and goes up and down I just can't put it together myself and I have to wait until I can get someone in to help me to put it together <laughs> it's been sitting in here in the box for uh, quite a while but we'll get there eventually so 
So do I want to do him on the writing or do I want to do him on that? Or do I want to do something fancy? And, ooh, let's do something fancy with the greens. I didn't grab a blue. I think I've got blues right next to me. Let's do something fancy. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to tear an edge because I want to make like a hill. Just a bit longer than my card. And then I'm just going to clean that brown off a bit on the tissue. Usually works better on paper towel, but hey, tissues work. And we're going to grab... What greens did I grab? No, that's walnut stone. That's gathered twig. Let's go with peeled paint. And then I'll fade up to burlap, I think. Frayed burlap. My ink pads probably need, desperately need re-inking as well. So this is my card front. So let's have it up the right way. The other day I stuck something up the wrong way on a card, so it opened backwards. That was a good look. So I'm just going to do it on the side because it's easier. I'm going to take my piece of torn paper and sort of mask off about, I don't know, an inch up the card and do got a big blob where I don't want it. I'm not the best at this freehand inking. I get blobs where I don't want blobs. So I want to go quite sort of hard where that line, that torn line is, because I want to sort of make some hills. So now I've got that line there, I want to go fairly light, the colour in the bottom with green, but not lose my line. Not lose my line, so I want to sort of make some grassy mountains. So I'm just going to tilt my piece of torn paper and to this bit down the bottom and see if I can't do another line. What's the worst? I could stuff it totally up. Or not see what I did at all. Let's do that again. <laughs> uh, sometimes I get an idea in my head of what I want to do and I'd sort of translate it to paper and it doesn't work at all. So I'm just going to keep moving this torn piece of paper around and just make like some hilly mountains for him to stand on. Mr. Reindeer to stand on and then I'll have to grab my blue and that is right next to me I've lost my tissue um, so I think I'm sort of liking that let's go to the frayed burlap which is the lighter one I saw this sort of technique at one of the shows last year when we actually no it would have been the year before oh god the last two years are fading into each other um, I saw one of the other exhibitors do something like this. I don't know whether this exactly how she did it, but hey, it seems to be working. I often see things that other people do and have no idea how they've done it because it's just a photo and then sort of try to work it out myself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, that's kind of looking good. So I want a little bit more here. I like these blending brushes because you can go in really light and then you can always go over heavier and darken up your lines. And you don't get as many big, big blobs as I do when I use the like the Tim Holtz blending foams. I had a lot of trouble when I was trying to blend with those. I'd get big blobs where I didn't want it. But this is working. Ooh, that's working kind of cute. Let's bring our little deer back in and put him on. I might do a little bit more and then I will quickly grab my blue, which is in the box off to my side. From another demo I did know I put stuff away. I'm not good at cleaning up. Oh, I'm liking that. How are my mountains looking? Hopefully good. Oops, poor deer with a broken leg. Let's make sure when we stick him down, we stick him down so he doesn't have... A broken leg. Let me just reach over here into this other tray and grab this blue, black, yellow. I don't have every colour in Distress Ink, but I have enough. I think I need some of the new colours though that keep coming out. Let's go and get that frayed burlap out of my blending brush. I sort of didn't pick up and use them for a while, so I thought, oh, I don't really want any new colours until I actually um, use them, but I am enjoying them more and more. So let's take, what's this one? Mermaid Lagoon Salty Ocean. 
don't have a lighter blue. Hmm. No, we're just going to have to be very, very light handed. So we're going to be feather light in picking up our ink and very, very lightly add some blue to the top. And without hoping to try not to get dirty fingerprints, let's put a bit of clean card there so I can hold the card down. This is probably not the best card to do ink blending on. That's probably my issue as well. This is just a card base I found in my stash and thought, oh, it's the right size, I'll use it. That may be my problem, actually, if I use the right paper to start with. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have so many issues with blobs, but, ah, that's looking all right. That hasn't come up that bad at all. Now, I think I want to go around the edge with... with do I want to cut it down and mount it on a craft card I'm really loving the craft color at the moment let's see what it will look like on craft or do I like it better on white I'm sure that mind on craft sorry I'm here I'm here talking to myself it's so quiet when I'm doing a live because usually I'm listening and I've got noise in the background I've got the TV in on my house it's so weird to do a live and just hear myself talk. Um, hi, carrie -Anne. Okay, I missed the start. What is the deer, please? So these deers are some embellishments that I make. So they're made from 400 GSM cardstock, and they're on the website. So you can get, I think you get the mum and the baby in a pack, and you can get them in black, you can get them in chipboard, or you can get them in this white mixed media cardstock. If I'm clever, I could possibly go find a link and stick it up. Let's see if I'm clever for two seconds on my computer. That will link. Uh, that will link there. So I've got a sale on my computer. I'm on my computer. Oh my god, words are not my friend today. I've got a sale on for probably the next week and a half until I actually take it off the website. Um, I don't have a keyboard. There's my keyboard to hit enter. How do I do it without hitting enter? <coughs> I just stick my keyboard. Ah, under the paper set. Hang on. Enter. There we go. There's the website that you can purchase the deers from. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So there is a sale on. Just note, if you place orders from basically today onwards, there may be a delay in posting them. Um, my daughter has to go to Melbourne next week and we have to stay down there for, I don't know, three to four days. We're going down on Tuesday and we'll probably be back on Friday. Um, I will try to get orders done and out in the mail before Monday when we leave, but it all depends on how much I've got a cup. I don't have a lot of this Christmas cuff. Ugh, can't talk. I don't have a lot of this Christmas stuff pre-cut, which is usually I pre-cut five to ten packs of everything before I release them on the website. But that thing called time has been very elusive lately. I'm just going to cut this down. So just bear in mind that your orders may not be posted till the 27th of September. But I will email you if it's going to be delayed. And I'll pop a surprise in there so, for you anyway. Anyone that's ordered from me before knows I put surprises in anyway. Um, but I'll put a little bit of an extra surprise in. It's just this show was booked and then we got the date that my daughter has to go to Melbourne. Okay. Speaking of the devil, here comes my daughter. Dad's here. I have fun with Dad and I'll see you tonight. Can you just shut the door when you go out so it's not so cold? Okay. okay, obviously I can't cut things straight. Let's cut a little bit more off this. Cutting and matting onto a front of a card is not my forte. I can measure things ten times and still get the damn thing wrong. <laughs> Let's see if we got this right. I must invest in some. I need a bit off the bottom. You hear the big thing. Alexis is trying to shut the door. Leave it, I'll get you in a minute, Alexis. Leave it, Alexis, I'll get you in a minute. She's slamming the door to shut it. Must have the lock. Must have the lock engaged. Ugh. I had the door open because it was a beautiful day in Bendigo, but it's getting a bit cold now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. 
I must invest in a pair of stacking dies for this size card so I can die cut the layers instead of having to sit there and cut them because measurements and myself don't work well. So what I want to do is ink around the edge of that with what? Where's that frayed burlap gone? We'll do it with that one. Oh, nearly stuck my finger right in the middle of the ink pad. So we've got quite a few of our Christmas things on special. I've got some new stencils I'm releasing and Alexis has put up a bunch of Christmas napkins as well. Oh, bar humbug. Uh oh, it's too thick. Oh well, it'll work. I'll just make it thicker all the way around. <laughs> yeah, I know, probably not the best way to edge a card, but hey, it usually works. This ink pad's a bit juicier than I thought it was. There's no mistakes in crafting, right? You just slightly change the way you're doing it. Hi, Bronnie, how are you going? Now, that is quite wet, so I'm going to try to not smudge it. So what I might put it aside, and I will stick it later. Make sure my reindeer has... Oh, he's got a bit fragile when I was inking him. That's all right. We'll stick it down and no one will know that he's a bit fragile. I have to find a saying. Oh, I do like that. Something different. So I'm going to put that aside so that ink will dry. And what we might do is play with... So we've got this design as well um, with the Santa and the sleigh. The idea I had with this one... Again, sometimes I get ideas in my head and they don't specifically work on paper. I thought I cut... Ah, okay. I'll do it on this one. So my idea is to build sort of a house scene down the bottom and then have him up in the sky. I did get some post-it notes. So we're going to cut some... Where are my scissors? going to cut some wonky houses. Housey shapes. I might use that one, it's got a note on it, I've got to remember. So following this, I'm actually in the Craft Alive classroom at 4.30 this afternoon. Um, so it's free access this event, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so you can go and register on the Craft Alive, Craft Alive website to gain free access to the classes. I'm in classroom 2 from 4.30 each day and you can check out the art journal page that I've done today. Tomorrow it is card making and just wondering how to set my masks up. Um, then there's a scrapbook page I believe on Sunday and also another art journal page on that would leave Saturday. Um, Maybe I'll cut it this way. Just trying to cut my post-it notes into sort of roof or house shapes to block off. I've got this idea in my head and I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it anyway because we kind of like doing that. We like to see if things will work. It's probably going to look a bit funny like that. Maybe we turn it around. But then the stick is on the wrong side. That'd be right. No, we're going to stick it here. It's like a row of houses. We are just going to make it work today. And then we might just stick this one over here. Nothing like making it up as I go along. As I said before, I'm the queen of the last minute lately. Everything is last minute. Don't tell Craft Alive. I haven't filmed the three videos in the next three days yet. Whoops. I'll get them done by the time they're due in. <laughs> well, they're due in ages ago, but yeah, well. Okay. So... I want to do blue in the sky, I think. Do I want to do a bit of a moon? I could mask off a moon. Let me see if I can cut a circle without butchering it too much. So for the next four days, we're going to feature different Christmas projects every day. So I'll be live at 11 o'clock every... That's a very, very bad wonky circle. Um, be live at 11 o'clock every day and hopefully we'll be able to schedule in another live as well just depends life's just nuts at the moment and it's just 
I'm surprised my phone's still not ringing. I fielded that many phone calls and just before I went on live, I had another phone call, all related to Miss Darling for next week. And if next week gets cancelled again, this mum is going to be rather upset. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> you won't want to be around me. <laughs> so I'm just going to add sort of blue blue sky and then I might darken this a bit to with a bit of black to sort of be like a night sky and then we can have Santa in his sleigh on the night sky with houses and a moon or well, this could all end terribly wrong <laughs> ideally I probably should practice what I'm going to do live before I actually go live but who has time for that Crafting's all about making mistakes, isn't it? And um, learning from your mistakes. I can hear my desk wobbling a bit. So I apologise if the camera is shaking. The camera's not actually mounted to the desk, but sometimes... That's right, I'm going to go around with black there anyway. I just want to go around the moon a bit more, so it's a bit more defined. Okay. Now, I want to do black last, so I don't want to get black in my blending brush. I do have a couple of them floating around, but of course, I can only find one, because that would be the way. Do I want fossilised amber, or do I want wild honey? Fossilised amber, I think. We're just going to take this off. When I'm doing masking like this, I always do the darkest colour first because then you can go in with your lightest colour. And if I go a little bit over into the blue with yellow, it's not going to make a big difference. But if I do it in the reverse, if I go in with my light first, then try to fill in with my dark, then I come into all sorts of accidents. And it doesn't matter if the, the yellow comes out a bit into the blue and makes green because that's sort of the glow of the night sky. I don't know, I'm making this up as we go along. <laughs> Where's Santa? Bring Santa back in. Oh, Ooh, look, we can even have, what's that, grub on there? There's always grub on my cards. Oh. Okay, now, if I take these off, what colour am I going to do? Oh, I might do these in frayed burlap, because I don't want to do like a dark colour. I want sort of a neutral colour. Where did that go? Is that that one? No, that's walnut. Is it right in front of me? No, pure paint. Ah, it's up here. I put it up on my computer. So let's take my little masks off. See, as I've prepared, I make a little house um, stencil to go across the bottom, but maybe by next Christmas. <laughs> oh, thanks, Belle. I'm funny. Oh, I have to be lately, otherwise I'd be in the corner crying with what's going on lately. Dealing with, oh, let's put it this way, dealing with government departments is never fun. And I had to fax something. Okay, what century are we in? We're in the 21st century. 99% of people use email. No, this particular government department had to use fax. So Tuesday, it's a kilometre down to my local post office to fax something. So a kilometre down, walk down, because I don't drive, and walk back. So I walked down on Tuesday and faxed it. Rang up Tuesday afternoon to see if it had been received. No, only one page of two come through. So off I walk Wednesday morning to go refax the fax. And two pages went through. Get home. The post office rings me. They've got a fax back saying the piece of paper has been rejected because the address is not correct. So I have to correct the address on the bit of paper. Walk back today, third day in a row, and refax, refax the fax. Oh. I was so annoyed. And apparently we live in the 1800s where we have to send faxes and not emails. For that particular government department, I won't name who it is, but oh, it was just absolutely ridiculous. So hence why I'm a bit funnier lately, because if I'm not funny, then I just... Ugh. Life's not fun when you deal with government departments. 
So just filling in my buildings, I might grab a stencil and add some texture to the bottom here. I wonder where my brick stencil would be. Probably nowhere near I can put my hands on it real quick. That's all right, we might pen draw it in. If I don't have what I need handy, I will make it up as I go along. Because apparently that's how I roll lately. Okay, they're looking a bit like buildings. All of these could look like Egyptian pyramids. Actually, maybe Santa is flying over Egypt instead of Australia because he got lost. Actually, we might say they're Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> no, it's never fun, Val, and I've just had... Uh, nothing's easy lately. It's just... Uh, and what complicates things is when you have a child with special needs and need things done just a little bit different. <laughs> oh, that's fun as well. And of course, me being the parent, shouldn't have an opinion. The doctor should have their opinion and it should be done their way. And it's like, <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So what I want to do is darken up the black so it's sort of like a nightish sky not because Santa doesn't come out in the doesn't come out when the sky is blue so I want to sort of let me find my circle so I don't darken my moon I should have thought of this before I took the mask off but let's let's stick it back on and I want to sort of darken the edges and I probably need to stick a couple of these back on just at the edges so And now my post-it note won't stick over my inked surface. Of course not. Well, we'll just hold it there when we get to there. Well, there's a will, there's a way. I just want to darken up the edge and do it like a darky blue. Is it fun sitting here watching me put ink on paper? <laughs> I'll have to watch the time, do because I have to be off at 4 o'clock. to be on at 4.30 on the other, the other thing. So just wanting to darken up the edges and where's that bit? Looks like a stormy night sky. That'll work. Okay, next bit was that bit. Next bit was this bit. It's like a puzzle putting all the bits back together. Oops, that's a bit dark. That's right. We'll just oh, now my thing's lifting up. Seriously, that's all right. It'll all work. Don't look at my cards very closely. No magnifying glasses when you look at my projects. Okay. So I'm going to grab a pen. Hopefully I've got off to the side here. This is probably one advantage of not cleaning up. Ooh, I don't want to do it in black, I don't want to do it in gold. I don't want it to be very... Ooh, maybe I took gold. And they will look like hills. We're going to change our mind, we're doing hills of Egypt. So I just grabbed a gold paint pen. And I just want to put some... Maybe. That's what I'm doing. Just a bit of line detail in... over the ink. It's very subtle and hopefully the ink doesn't wreck my paint pen because I'm good at wrecking my paint pens. We're just putting some sketchy lines in just to add another layer. Not turning out exactly how I envisioned in my head but I still like it. Often things that I envisage in my head don't turn out exactly like it is. It's a weird place to be in my head actually some days. Now I think Santa needs to be a black silhouette. And then we might put Merry Christmas down on the bottom. Ooh. All coming together. Now let's make Santa black. I could get up and get a black Santa, but that would defeat the purpose of using the white one. So I don't think I'll make this one completely black. I might make it like smoky black. Wonder if he needs like a a glow of yellow because he's glowing sort of from the moon 
that might just end in tears because that might not work out let's try it why not as again I'm, I'm sort of imagining something in my head and sometimes things just don't come out like you planned so I might put a base of yellow and then I can always cover it up if it looks like crap so I want to be extra careful with this one because it's very fine don't want to rip antlers or heads off So all the new shapes that I've made available I have listed on the website in chipboard, in black cardstock or in white cardstock. Basically any design on the website is available in those three things, the white um, or any of our chipboard things. If you want a particular design you can just email me and say can you cut me the lion in white stuff instead of um, chipboard. It's just, it all takes too long to list everything and everything. Oh, you're home, Tabitha. That was quick. Yeah, I can hear. Miss Assistant says hello. Hello, Miss Assistant. That's Tabitha's daughter. She gets the name of Miss Assistant. Tabitha has a YouTube channel and often her daughter gets on and helps her with her crafty things. So that's how she got the nickname of Miss Assistant. How's Miss Assistant? Oh, it's only a few minutes after, I suppose. She's feeling all right. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to darken up this. Oh, this actually might look good with the yellow base to it. I'm actually using the oxide inks and using them in a different way in tomorrow's class in the classroom. I have to film that tonight. I've got a busy afternoon. I'm doing this and then I'm sitting there and answering comments for my class between 4 and 5 I think we'll run to about 5.20 I went a little bit over my hour but that's alright that's why I told them put me last on the schedule because then I can yakety yak how much I <laughs> want and then I've got a zoom call between 6.30 and 7.30 and then I've got to film a video like who needs sleep right Oh, maybe some shimmer. I'll have to think of what I've got for shimmer. Hmm, that's a good idea, Marilyn. Maybe I've got, what have I got for shimmer? Hmm. Just trying to think what's accessible. Probably have to add the shimmer and then upload a photo because Alexis is trying to organise my craft stash and we're trying to organise it as well and we've got stuff everywhere at the moment. But I definitely think some shimmer would be a really good idea. Let me clean up that black before I get black everywhere. Most of the ink will come off with a dry paper towel or a dry tissue and then at the end of when I'm finished inking I will go over it with a paper towel. Oh, I do like that. So now do I want to put that on? I've got black fingers now. So I'll definitely have to put my thinking cap on and see what shimmer I can come up with. Just looking at the time. Um, so I think I will go, will I mount that on the craft or will I mount it on white? I think it needs to be mounted on white. So I will finish these off. Haha, <laughs> when? Late tonight. I will finish them off and pop up photos in the group. And I think I'll put a word Merry Christmas down here. What we might do is just quickly do another one. See how quick I can do a card. We will see if we can... I wonder if embossed will look good on embossed. Probably not. Maybe I tear some of the embossing and put it half on a card. That's probably a good idea. Let me grab just another card base. As I got up, I noticed I had more in my box. Oh, if I'd looked. I usually throw in more than I need because I usually get one grotty grotty. So what I want to do is, this one's just got a script um, embossing folder at the back. So I'm just going to tear this and ink it up with some... What colour are we going to go? I'm going to go some... What's this colour? Gathered twig. going to make this a bit darker. 
I like the oxides on the craft cardstock because the colours really stand up. I can relate. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, actually, when you mentioned that, Marilyn, you did break your leg uh, a while ago. How are you all going with that? Is it getting getting better? I've never broken a leg, but I've broken an arm several times. Luckily, it's my left arm. I'd hate to break a leg because he couldn't get around much. I had an um, infected toe at the start of this year, and that was bad enough. I had to sit with my toe up for about, with my foot up for about six weeks. It was ridiculous. Like, who has time for that? <laughs> I wish I had a barn. I'm in the corner of the lounge room with my filming desk, and I have another crafting desk in part of the lounge room and I have all my stock for my website in the other part of the lounge room and hey my lounge room's not that big um, <laughs> it's where I pack all my shapes and my orders I have a shed on the property but at the moment it's just a tin shed and I need to someone to come out and quote to make it like more into a room dust proof and waterproof and all that sort of stuff and rodent proof I value love white on white with embossing it just looks so elegant I, I haven't pulled out my embossing folders for yonkies, which is ridiculous. I haven't pulled out a lot of things. Let's put that aside because that's got really wet ink on it and see if I can put some blue up the top here. How far do I have to put it up? Just want to hold this so I don't get inky fingers everywhere because do I want to do, oh, let's do a moon again because that was kind of fun. Let's see if we, our mask will stay on again. And we want to go for blue. I've got 15 minutes. Let's see if I can get this one finished. So I'll, I'll be off the live by four and then you'll have time to go grab a cuppa, go have a toilet break, or I will as well, before I have to moderate this class at 4.30. It is a pre-filmed video, but I'll be there to chat in the comments and to also make sure that the video doesn't um, stuff up. I'm getting around and managing to get up and downstairs, but because it's not in plaster, it tells me when I need to stop. Oh, not in plaster, that would be hard. Well, I suppose at least you could bathe and all that. Being in plaster is not fun, especially in summer. I'm trying to decide what sort of crafty stuff I can take to um, the hospital next week. And I'm not allowed to take a very big bag. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut down my crafting stuff because I think we're spending three to four days there. And yes, I'll need something to entertain me. So I'm trying to... Um, I keep thinking of things, oh, it'd be nice to take me paints. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I don't think they'll like me paint in the room. <laughs> oh. Maybe I should take my laptop and actually do some work. <laughs> Why? No, let's not do that. That would be not fun. Not too worried about the line that I'm creating down here because hopefully that piece of embossed cardstock will fit and cover up that line that I've just created. I'm just being a bit worried because that ink is quite wet on the top. Okay, oh, that's quite, that is quite smudgy and blotchy. Obviously not the right paper. I'm getting really low on supplies at the moment. I need to go for another trip to Hillbilly Scrapping. So all I seem to do lately <laughs> is buy stuff uh, and keep running out of stuff. Need to restock some of my paints that I'll keep running out of. Obviously I like some colours better than others. Hopefully by November, uh, early December when we have the next Hillbilly Scrapping Retreat I will be allowed to go up to Swan Hill. That would be fun. It wasn't fun doing the virtual retreat at home. Everything kept distracting me. I've heard of Pro, um, Procreate on the iPad. I could probably download it to my daughter's laptop because it has a touch screen. 
maybe I'll do that and have a play because I've seen what Michelle Grant can do with it and I'm going oh, that looks like fun oh maybe I'll do that I'm sure I can put it on her laptop technically I should be giving her laptop back because I got my laptop fixed and back but I sort of haven't transferred everything across to mine yet I've been a bit lazy that's my October goal is to get my laptop back up and running and get hers back to her. <laughs> uh, hers is a nice better one. It ha it flips around and it it has a touch screen and she won't let me swap and give me give her my horrible one back. She likes hers too much there. Oh I like the glow I've got on there. I might bring some dark in around. Because at the moment for all my designs, I design in Corel Draw, which is going to be interesting. I've got lots of designing I need to do, or lots of designs I'd like to do. Um, but I don't know whether I can design on the laptop. Usually I need a larger screen to see. Because for anyone that's new and doesn't know me, I have a bit of low vision. Well, sucky low vision. Um, <laughs> so it's hard for me to see things on um, small computer screens going to darken up the edge of this. Oh, I should have that thing so I don't put fingerprints on it. This is one reason I don't really like a lot of card making or blending because I tend to get fingerprints just everywhere because I'm a messy person. I'm kind of liking this blue overlaid with, the, overlaid with the black to make it a bit more misty and dark. And then you can cover up any... Uh, oh, now I've got to cover up that line. I had that in the wrong spot. There we go. Looks a bit misty and dark. As I said, I'm not the world's best at blending. I'm getting better, but um, I don't do it enough. I sort of I dabble in so many different crafts and art journaling and scrapbook and card making. If I just concentrated on one, I would probably get better at it. Just gonna go around there a bit. I do have smaller blending brushes somewhere, which would probably help in this instant. But again, where they are, I have no idea. I'm about to lose one of my crafting shelves to another work shelf as well because I keep producing too many designs and need to have them in buckets for when people order. Now, because he's missing a bit of his leg, which I didn't really realise, we're going to chop his legs off and hopefully it doesn't look very terrible. Actually, oh, I just had an idea. No, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe I could have him poking out from under the... Oh, if I cut this off a bit, I can have him poking out from under the ripped bit. And I've just put my paper trim out backwards. Let's cut a bit of this off. This may not be a good idea, but let's go with it anyway. <laughs> then he can put me poking behind a fence. A, a wizard or a unicorn come out of the haze. Ooh, I haven't done wizard or unicorn stencils yet. And of course that would happen. Now I've got to go back in with my blue. Maybe here's a cheeky deer that um, peeps over the fence looking at someone's garden. What am I looking for? Blue. Oi. Oh, God. The only thing I don't like about this glass mat is everything blooming slips on it. Everything just... Because it's quite slippery. I'm used to working on just paper. Ooh, I have to go see what... I wonder if I've got small... In my stash, I'd have to have small, like, rubber stamps of some description that could come out of the moon. I will have to go and have a look. That is a good idea. You are so full of good ideas, Meryl. Now I'm going to try to get rid of this hard line that I put here. Let's go with a bit of black. Oh, maybe I'll do something like this with paint in my art journal. Oh, they look cool. I have to make my deer a bit bigger, though. Okay. Let's stick that on there. Okay, what colour are we going to make the deer? Hmm. Maybe we make him... Maybe we do a bit of aged mahogany or fire brick. 
and a bit of brown and a bit of that's walnut stain gathered twig walnut stain's dark oh, so i might do these two so we'll quickly do the deer in these two again i've embossed it through a embossing folder just to give it a bit more texture i could always stamp texture on it as well you usually want to have these shapes that have more um what's the word i'm trying to think of more area like solid solid area that's what i'm looking for words are escaping me today ah that's a good idea Tabitha. so i've got some of the non-slip stuff that audi has and put it on the back of your ink pads i've actually seen someone because i find when i try to ink up the ink pad flies all over the table i've seen someone have a little dish where you can put it in and then it holds it in place i think that's something they've um 3d printed and i thought oh that's a good idea but yes i like the anti-slip matte stuff oh, whoops gentle you'll rip his antlers off i like the anti-slip matte thing probably got some of that in the cupboard if i actually went looking actually i probably got some in my art stash because that makes really cool stamps <laughs> that um plasticky meshy stuff you get it's going to quickly do my deer i will um or reindeer i will take photos of these when i mount them on cards i mount them, might mount them up Ugh. oh my god words are just hard today i mount mount them up on a bit of foam tape just to give the layers a bit of dimension and i'll post photos in the group oh in the not in the group what am i doing on my page oh i'm going to be this video i'm going to film tonight might be hilarious if i can't use words properly you might not want to tune in tomorrow's video <laughs> it might be funny <laughs> oh, some days i wonder i should not be let out i don't think and I want a bit of red. Crafting is good stress relief, I think. I like getting messy and doing stuff. And The only problem is I like to do stuff where I can use anything. When I look at this Christmas stuff and go, oh my God, what am I going to make? I, I don't find it as much fun. It's more fun where I can go and use whatever I've got in my stash. But when I'm doing stuff for work and have to use this particular shape or have to design with something i find it a bit more stressful but we usually get there so adding a bit more red and then what i might do is touch the red on the raised bits just to give him a bit more color apparently it's a him because i keep calling it a him that's not as I don't like that colour. While well, it's wet, I will take it off. I might touch it with a bit of black, actually, because it's not as contrasty as I want it to be. All those files go on with the black and be very, very light. I don't think light and me actually go in the same sentence lately. It's probably an easy way to do this, but it works. Oh, I think I like that because he stands out a bit more. But I don't want it totally black everywhere. Get rid of that. I have to go wash my hands. I've got ink everywhere. I like how his antler sits in the sun. There we go. I might even black him black. See, I told you words. No. Not not gonna work today i think i might back it with a black uh mount and then stick it on the card room and stick it on a black card and stick a word down here and that might be our third card that's not bad three little cards in an hour that's pretty cool so i will go stick all these together and pop up photos probably won't be popping up photos till late late tonight when i get a chance to oh maybe i could sit here and do them while i'm moderating the video because i don't have to be on camera to do that i just have to um listen to myself <laughs> so there's the cute little three oh i think they're cute cute little cards using some of our reindeer shapes and the santa i didn't go and emboss the santa with the embossing folder because i thought it was too fine to uh, i didn't have a fine enough detail like if i had a really fine detailed dot or something but most of my designs were big and chunky and i just didn't think it would work but i like that and I put a saying down there and 
some quirky Christmas cards. So if you order anything from me in the next few weeks, you might find a Christmas card in your pack. You never know. I'm known to throw all sorts of things in your parcels, including what you ordered some days, <laughs> and some days more than what you ordered. Oh, I don't know. Thank you very much for coming along, and I will see you later in the classroom at 4.30. That's through the Craft Alive class room and I put a link you need to register to have access to the classroom so I put a or shared the post of how to do it on the Facebook page just scroll down a couple of posts and you just go and subscribe to and there's a free section to subscribe to so you don't have to put in credit cards or anything like that um, and I'm in classroom 2 at 4.30 so I will see you there and if not I'll see you back at 11 o'clock tomorrow with another fantastic Christmassy themed project no idea what I'm doing yet <laughs> Do I have any idea any day? No. Um, and I'll hopefully squeeze in a second live tomorrow. We'll see how we're going. Might be an art journal page just to reset my head and have a bit of a play. Thank you very much for all watching and I will catch up with you soon. Have a great afternoon. Bye.